so this lighting's kind of awful, but whatever. You can see me. And maybe Charlie. Hold on. And you can see Charlie. So that's all that really matters. Hi, dear. Hi, Sierra. Hi, Brady. So the beach house was, like, kind of weird. Like, we had our, um, like, our own kitchen and our bedrooms and everything. And then upstairs, Josh's parents, like, had their own set of, like, they had their own kitchen. So it was really, like, two houses, like, two separate houses stacked on top of each other. But it was really interesting. So <laughs> little beach house tour. It's a big beach house. Yeah. The other one's a little beach house. This one. So this is the front door, and you walk in, and there's stairs leading up to the front, and that's where Josh's parents are so staying. Weird. Mayor's room is like over this direction. Also, then, it's like a garage also. Yeah, it was like a garage, and then they converted it into a living space. So there's like the table, the couches and stuff. We're doing like this thousand piece Dude, hell. world map it's so hard. puzzle. Fuck. It's a lot of ocean and things that look the same. Yeah. <laughs> There's also like just random tissue. Okay. And then got the Xbox hooked up to that big TV there. And here, whoa, you made it. <laughs> then here's like the whole kitchen. There you go. Weird garage door that leads to outside. And then our room is over here. But these fucking fuzzy, yeah. weird sheets. It's like blanket material for the sheets. It's weird. And then through there is just the bathroom, and that's just between ours and Mare's rooms. And then we have this door that goes to outside. Ooh, it's bright. Outside, there's like little picnic tables and some more stairs that lead up to Josh's parents' um, balcony. But yeah, it's super pretty. This is outside, and then over there, that's just the road. It's like a 10 minute little walk to the beach, so it's super close. And yeah. Seemingly for no reason. There's an elevator here. And um, <laughs> it goes from this floor upstairs. Let's go. Shall we? All right. Oh, it's tiny. Okay, so now we're in the elevator. You smell like moly cheese. <laughs> Let's go to floor two. I'm gonna need you to pan over here and take a look. <laughs> Wait. Notice it until just this time when I rode down the elevator a minute ago. <laughs> like I, I just yeah. So, and so yeah. open that up. And now. <laughs> wow.
Okay. Nick, that's what I'm just talking yeah. about. Ron Swanson. That's it. That show is awesome. Ron Swanson's Every awesome. Every time I've seen a scene from that show, I've left my. You need to watch the show. So we went to this place, Oysterville. Um, it was one of the early town kind of things um, along the coast, and it was a lot of little almost craftsman style houses and stuff and you could just drive around and like read the signs of everything. Um, it was really cute. Um, besides that, we just kind of hung out at the house the rest of the day and I reread Catcher in the Rye and we watched a lot of Parks and Rec with Josh's family. So that was fun. Is that good or like? It means he's like the, the sanest thing? person to ever live. He's more sane than anyone will oh, ever so be. So mine is only four. It's so funny. He's such a fucking weird person, man. Like, a, like a couple hundred miles. Yeah, I fucking want. So I'm glad to be home now, but I don't know. I had a really nice relaxing time at the beach house, even if we didn't do anything because everything was closed because of coronavirus. I just feel like when I'm home, if I just wanna read my book or watch TV or something, I am like a little guilty because I could be doing dishes, or I could be deep cleaning something, or like all these different tasks that I could be doing instead, and at the beach house, um, I don't have anything to do, so I don't have any chores or anything, and I can just read, and it was like a nice mental break from that, so I really enjoyed the week there. I don't know, there's just something about like getting out of your usual routine even if it's not even that exciting to go somewhere else um, for a little while it was a nice mental break for me and I'm really glad that I got to bring you along with me um, this is like I'm having a lot of fun doing this um, but I love you guys and I miss you so there's that <laughs> um, I guess I will see you soon. Yeah. I'm refilming some of this because I feel like I say like too much and I'm trying to film it so that I don't say like like every other word. And I just did it again. There's no hope for me.